Hey, what's up? This is Josh with the Guitar Player School, and in this video we're going to be talking about some sweep tipping picks, things that you might not think about when it comes to sweep picking to make your practicing a little bit easier. For the best guitar tips and tricks when it comes to improvising, soloing, technique, and more, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and check back every single Tuesday for new content. All right, so we're talking about sweep picking today. So a couple things before we get into playing. The type of pick that you use can really make a difference in how effectively you can sweep pick. Uh, in my experience, thicker picks will grind through the strings a little bit easier, and you will find that if you use a, a thin pick, the, when you go to sweep, the string will kind of eat the pick and cause it to bend, and you don't get like a clear contact. So using a thicker pick causes you to cut right through. So the type of pick that you use uh, is really helpful. I like to use the John Petrucci flow picks. I got a link to the description uh, in the description below if you want to check some out on Amazon. Um, I also like jazz threes. Those are pretty standard when it comes to lead guitar and a lot of high technique playing. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is when you're working on your sweeping, there's most of us when we're playing lead guitar, we really like to have really low action because it makes it easier to press the strings down. But the other thing is that it also makes it easier to uh, keep the strings down and keep noise happening. So if you like, if you want to try and experiment with this by raising the action of your strings a little bit, when you go to sweep and release a note, the string will jump up a lot easier because there's more pressure built up to let the string go when you release your finger. But if it's really low action, then there's not going to be much string pressure pushing against your finger to let go. So you're more likely to potentially get some ringing sounds. Okay, um, third tip. When you're sweeping, I like to sweep from the arm as opposed to a turn of the wrist. It's just a stronger muscle group. You will find that you will cut through the string a lot easier when it comes to... When it comes to the movement, you're gonna, using a stronger muscle group will make it a lot easier. Okay, uh, last two tips real quick. So there is a time and place for practicing with distortion and there's a time and place for practicing with a clean tone. So when you're working on your sweep picking, it's also great to practice with a clean tone because if you practice with a clean tone, number one, you can really hear if the notes are ringing exactly and then stopping right before you're supposed to go to the next note, especially when you play with a metronome. Did you notice how the next note started, a, a note's decay and the next note was instant. There wasn't, there was no pop in between the notes, there was no silence. So it's really easy to hear that when you're playing, practicing clean. The other thing is you have to be hyper aware of your dynamics. You wanna make sure every note is being hit evenly, the same strength across, except the higher note. It's nice to snap that one with a little bit of intensity to give the sweep a little bit more bite. But you don't want where it's quiet and, and intense. You want it to be a nice even. Okay, now distortion. Why would you play with distortion? Well, the distortion, the compression of the notes will help hide whether the notes are being hit evenly, but all the extra noise will really add up and it forces you to, lyric, to really listen and hear if you are. You're letting notes bleed together to get a good clean sweet pick, sweet pick sweet pick you really want to make sure that the notes don't bleed at all it's just one and what you want to be working on it is your right hand is it going to be resting on the lower strings when you're sweeping the higher strings and your index finger is going to be muting the lower strings when you're sweeping on the if you're sweeping on the lower strings my index finger is muting these higher strings and then when I'm, my palm is muted the lower strings here. So it's a constant dance between the side of your index finger and your palm when you're working on sweep picking. 
Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys got something out of it. Be sure to leave a comment below. If you have any questions about sweet picking, I'd be happy to answer them. This is Josh with the Guitar Player School. Practice, rock on.